In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to enable direct messages on Discord, making it easy for you to communicate privately with your friends and server mates. Whether you're new to Discord or a seasoned user looking to tweak your settings for better privacy and control, this guide is tailored to walk you through the process step by step. Let's dive in. First off, navigate to the Discord website. It's the doorway to accessing all the features you're familiar with via a web browser. Upon arrival, you'll be greeted with the login page asking for your email. Enter the email associated with your Discord account. Make sure it's the one you registered with. This is crucial for accessing your account without any hiccups. Following that, you'll be prompted to enter your password. Take a moment to ensure you're entering your password correctly. Remember, passwords are case sensitive, so those capital letters do matter. Once you've filled in those details, it's time to click on the login button. This is your key to the vast world of Discord, where communities and conversations never sleep. After successfully logging in, you'll find yourself at the Discord home screen. This dashboard is your command center for everything happening on Discord. Now for the main task at hand, the reason you're here, let's enable those direct messages. To get started, click on the user settings. It's typically symbolized by a gear icon next to your profile picture at the bottom left corner of your screen. This section is the heart of customization for your Discord experience, offering an array of settings to tweak your account to your liking. Within user settings, look for the content and social option. Clicking on this will take you deeper into personalizing how you interact with content and users on Discord. Within the content and social pane, you'll notice an option titled direct messages. This is where you can manage who can send you direct messages a key component in controlling your privacy and interactions on the platform. You might notice the default setting might not align with your preferences, usually set to allow direct messages from server members. If this isn't suitable and you wish to have more control, you'll want to choose the no option when prompted. This prevents anyone you're not friends with or have shared a server with from sending you direct messages, adding an extra layer of privacy. Once you've selected no, another prompt might appear asking for confirmation or providing additional settings to fine tune your preferences. If you're focused on enhancing your privacy, sticking with no is the way to go. Finally, make sure your changes are saved. Discord usually updates preferences automatically, but a quick double check won't hurt. And just like that, you've customized your direct message settings to suit your personal privacy preferences. Wrapping up, let's reiterate the importance of periodically reviewing your Discord settings. The platform often updates and introduces new features, some of which might affect your privacy or how you interact with the community. By staying informed and proactive about your settings, you can ensure the best possible Discord experience tailored just for you. And there you have it, the straightforward path to enabling direct messages on Discord according to your preferences. With these steps, you've taken control of who can reach you directly ensuring your Discord experience is both enjoyable and secure. Thank you for joining me in today's tutorial. Whether you're here to customize your privacy settings, understand Discord's functionalities better, or simply looking for a refresher, I hope this guide has been helpful. Happy Discording!